All right, transitions are found right underneath this tab. For transitions, these are where the entire slide moves. Not just part of it, the entire slide moves. When I click on a transition, you'll go ahead and put it on. For some of them, you may have an effect option. For some of them, they do not. It just kind of depends on the uh, transition that you choose. You can uh, go ahead and change the duration. The computer will automatically select what the ideal transition time is. If you want to go faster or slower, you're going to adjust this. Do not adjust it more than a second. If you start changing it more than that, all of a sudden you've made a change that does not make your presentation better or more readable. It makes it harder. So we want to make sure that we're making a good choice. Maybe I change this to 3.6. That's just fine. If I want to preview it, I can click over here and it will go ahead and preview it. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> when you're doing a transition, you want to leave it on the mouse click. That way when I'm grading it, I can control how fast it goes. If you want to apply it to all the slides, you can click here. Again, if you are running behind on an assignment, and you're worried about getting done, this button is your friend. It gives you a transition on every slide like that. Okay. Notice when I put a transition on, I have a little code over here. This tells me that yes, there is a transition on that. So before you turn in your assignment, if transitions are a requirement, you should look and see, do we have that mark next to all the slides? Okay. Also under transitions, this is where you find sound. When I hit the down arrow, we have sound that we can choose from. There are three that you may not use. You may not use explosions, you may not use guns, and you may not use gunshots. Those three are off limits, and you may not use those. 